Job 4 is Eliphaz talking to Job. But before we go any further in the book of Job, there's something that you should know. Now, a lot of this book consists of conversations between Job and his friends, conversations that aren't sound theology, meaning these are men's theories about what is happening to Job. So for that reason, we have to be careful not to take these verses out of context. Matter of fact, later in chapter 42, God says he's angry with these friends because they did not speak the truth about God. So just know that as we read this chapter, these are not the words of God. Eliphaz gets some things wrong about God and his nature. So like Job, we have to sort through what is true and what isn't. First, Eliphaz points the finger at Job saying he did something wrong to deserve judgment. Um, However, we know from previous chapters that that's not the case here. Second, he claims to have had a divine revelation in a dream And we have no reason to doubt that he had this dream. The words given to him are sound doctrinally. Listen. Can a mortal be innocent before God? Can anyone be pure before the Creator? We know those words are true and supported with other verses throughout the whole Bible. No human is innocent and without sin before God outside of Jesus Christ. But it's in Eliphaz's reasoning and interpretation of this dream that he paints an unloving and weak picture of God. See, God does not need to trust in angels or humans. He is sovereign, he knows us better than we know ourselves, and he loves us anyway. Enough to send his son and die on a cross and pay our sin debt. The biggest lesson we can learn from this chapter is this. When we are comforting someone, just be there. Mourn with them. You would be shocked how comforting and powerful your presence and prayers are. Don't feel the need to fix things you can't fix or explain things you can't explain. And if God gives you a word to encourage someone, don't add your reasoning to it. Give them God's word and let the Holy Spirit do the interpreting. Listen to Romans 12, verse 15 and 16. Rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep. Be of the same mind toward one another Do not set your mind on high things, but associate with the humble. Do not be wise in your own opinion.